As you all know, I've been in the Danganronpa fandom for a little over five years now. When I joined the fandom, it was still pretty niche and only had a few creators who were covering the series. Fast forward to 2020 and there was a huge popularity surge in the Danganronpa community. Bigger channels were being introduced to the game and doing Let's Play series of it, which in turn introduced the game series to a whole new audience. This was a blessing and kind of a curse. On one end, yay, new fans, but on the other end, Oh no, new fans who could represent the community in a bad way. Now, I'm not making this video to complain that the Danganronpa fans are necessarily toxic. I'm making this video to let people know that there are toxic fans in our community and those few bad seeds don't represent our community as a whole. Now, I've followed a few major content creators Let's Plays recently, one of them being Berlizzi. I love Berlizzi's content a lot, and he's probably one of the most inspiring black content creators next to Corey Kenshin, of course. But as I followed Berlizzi's Danganronpa journey, I was annoyed by how much the viewers, who seemed to be Danganronpa fans, kept forcing him to play the series. Berlizzi even mentioned a few times that he wasn't really enjoying the series, but people kept pushing him to play it. It got so bad to the point where I stopped watching the LP because I was annoyed by these fans in the comment section. Now, if you're a fan of a game series that wants to recommend the series to a content creator, that's completely fine. But constantly harassing a creator to play a game you like is unacceptable. Content creators aren't machines. Yes, we love giving you guys content and some of us do this for a living, but we have emotions, believe it or not. I kind of hate the entitlement that some viewers have where creators have to like every game a viewer recommends to play and see to finishing said game to appease that said viewer. It doesn't really help when creators play other games and fans from that recommended series barge into the chat asking for you to play another game that they like instead of playing the game that you really want to play right now. For example, I remember watching my favorite favorite streamer named Sarah Key. She's mainly a Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy streamer, but recently she got into Genshin Impact. There was a few times where she wasn't playing Genshin and the Genshin fans came into the chat harassing her to play Genshin, but she wanted to continue playing the game that she was playing. I think at the time she was playing like Tales of or Final Fantasy, one of the two games. I've, I've had some moments where I've been a little discouraged about posting Genshin videos just because I feel like people have been a little aggressive with me about it. Uh, you know, like if I post a video that's not Genshin, I feel like I get a lot of comments of like, why not Genshin? Where's Genshin? And you know, I'm not a Genshin Impact content creator. I, I mean, I am, but not a Genshin Impact only content creator. I make videos about a lot of different video games. My favorite is Kingdom Hearts. But this is unacceptable. She should be able to play any game she wants when she wants. Obviously, that day she didn't want to play Genshin. Maybe tomorrow she'll play Genshin. It's one thing to play a game you don't like and have fun talking crap about it because, you know, content. But it's another when you genuinely don't like a game and every time you hit the record button, it feels like a chore. And with some games, it feels that way. And I really feel like with people like Berlizzi and other people, maybe Danganronpa just just isn't for them and I don't feel like we should be sitting here forcing them to keep playing these games that they don't want to play. This behavior in itself is making the Danganronpa community look bad. So what I'm getting at in this video is Danganronpa fans out there, please stop harassing content creators to play Danganronpa. I'm sure they would love to play the game for you and they will probably do it on their own time and pace. So just be patient and the content will come. So that concludes everything that I really needed to say about this topic. I just really feel that people should just stop harassing content creators to play Danganronpa. You can recommend it, of course, but don't harass them. With that being said, I would love to see your guys' thoughts on this particular topic. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.